Hi, Shout Iris here. I'm a choreographer and dancer, and today I'm going to be reacting to Dreamcatcher Mason. There's so many, there were so many, I, I didn't know which one to go for, um, so I just picked the top one. And don't come at me with the dance practices, okay? I just, I want to see what they're about in a music video first, okay? So here we go. Um, can I just say this is a really nice melody like it, it's it's by the way I I'm a singer um, I'm a dancer by trait but I'm also a singer so I come up with melodies on my uh, I have a piano but here's my keyboard um, and I come up with melodies and usually it has to be something that works with the vibe of the music um, and this is clearly like I'd say got punk rock vibe to it um, but the melody is really romantic and blending the two together is really like easy on the ears it's nice to hear Great work on her belly. What a powerful stomach, and that's not even choreography. That's that's her stomach, her her chest, and her belly naturally just moving along with the choreography. I just feel like if I went straight to dance practice with this group, I would have completely missed these stunning visuals. You see why I watch the music videos? Catchy song. I'm a home in the desert. Bloody hell, that was a good song. Um, obviously it's a music video, so there wasn't a lot of choreography, so I can't really assess them on their choreography. And to be honest, I don't feel like I was paying attention to that. Like as a, a, a an artist, I was I was listening to the song. Um, I feel like they're a group that really care about 
less so about the image of portraying like choreography and saying yeah we can dance as a group but more the art side of things like the artistry but I'm only going off one music video so I need to see more I need to hear more and I need to add this to my Spotify so I'm gonna go subscribe to my channel thank you so much for the recommendation and have a nice day everyone